What's up guys, Chris here for GQ37, bringing you along for Project FX35. If you've been keeping up with the channel, you know I just recently picked up this 2008 FX35 tech package, and it has been highly neglected and hurricane battered, um, but I'm going to be bringing it back to life, and we'll soon be getting a paint job and fixing these cosmetic issues, uh, but there's also a lot of small other issues, and I'm going to be bringing you along for the ride doing videos as I show you how to fix some of these things, and uh, hopefully help you with your FX35 journey as well. So, here we go. Today's episode of restoring my FX35, I'm going to work on fixing the center console. It's a notorious problem on these FXs. Uh, my 2007 that we had years ago, it happened, and um, I fixed it with some magnets but with the, and the JB weld, but uh, with the Florida heat and humidity, it didn't really hold up. I kept having to reattach it. So this time, I'm just going to try to actually uh, just create a new latch. For it. I got these from a dollar store. There's some picture hangers. Um, they were two bucks, and I'm gonna see if I can size up one of these just right to uh, to attach back to what's left of the plastic. Now, if you had the actual hook that broke off of here, a lot of people can glue that back on, um, but I don't have that luxury. It's gone. So this is the second small. There's a few different sizes in here. There's a bigger one than this, but the thing is, the width is great on this one, so it'll slide in. There's a notch here, under there, and I'm sliding it, trying to slide it into the notch. There we go. So, so it'll slide in this way. Drill a little hole, put a screw through it. Problem is then my hook is facing the wrong way, you see? Um, so I'm just going to bend the hook the other way before I put this on. So I'm going to slide it in like that, and, uh, and mount it like that, but I'm going to go ahead and bend it back the other way, and then we'll try to level it out, put a screw through it, and see what's going to happen. My little screw, little drill bit, and my mechanism here, my hook. So let's go try this, and then I'm going to just test it, make sure it's going to work first, get it sized up, and then I'll take it back out and JB weld it, and then put the screw in. And hopefully that'll keep it from spinning, because ideally I'd have two screws in there, but there's not a lot of room on that plastic peg, and I don't want to push my luck. So we're going to try this. All right, so uh, I'll try this from the passenger side, just because it'd be a little bit easier. Again, we're doing this with it. And... Uh, that may be too much hook. I may have to actually trim some off, but uh, I don't want to bend it anymore, so I may have to trim it off, but that's okay. I just want to try to get this leveled up, and the really only the way to do it is to go ahead and do it and to mount it, so... And we're through. All right. Okay, so I just trimmed trimmed off a piece there to shorten my hook a little bit, and uh, and then we can bend it as needed once we get it in there. I also just dropped my screw, so now I have to go find another one. All right, <laughs> I'm back with another screw. Another one fell between the seats, and I will never see it again. But I've got lots of these little things. Who knows what they came from originally, but stuff like that I tend to save. So again. Once I get this size right, I'm going to take it back off. There's some JB Weld in, under there, and then tighten it back up. But we're still in the design phase here. So let's see where we need to go now. Well, there it is. There's the latch. And it works. Ta-da. My glue is dried now. I ended up some, having some Gorilla Epoxy left over, so um, I didn't have to buy any. If you did, it'll be a little bit more than $2 if you got to buy a, a screw and some epoxy, but that's just stuff I already had, so I only cost me the $2 for the, the hooks. But, as you can see, it works. It does the job. Hopefully that was helpful to somebody. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, hopefully this will help you fix yours if you're having this problem. I know it's pretty common. I appreciate you watching. And uh, thanks for liking and subscribing to the channel. There will be many more videos to come. The next one's going to be installing this door mirror right here. As you can see, I've got it all taped up here now. 
and then I will be taking this panel off. We're gonna do a window relearn. Also, I'm gonna install new uh, door catches because uh, these are not keeping the door open. It just keeps closing on my shin. So we'll do that all at the same time in the next video. See you then.